of these decks are protected by courts. You want to know more about manifestations and setting your intentions while you see 111 or 1111, then you can be sure to click on my next video for that. But right now, we're going to go ahead and get into um, the peak alignment session with Align with Ariana. Peak. Pick your energy. So for once, let's go ahead and get started. So, whoa, okay, all right. So when I immediately saw this, I knew that this particular deck was a deck that was definitely worth talking about with ones. So the one deck is Bridget which I'll turn it around so you can see. Bridget is the don't back down energy. Um, she is, she, Bridget says, stand up for what you believe is right. So automatically, this is dealing with a throat chakra. You can automatically tell because it's blue. So Bridget is like a watery and a fire energy. She's dealing with being able to speak your truth. So number one, if there's anyone out there automatically, you're in a situation where you're dealing with fire or you're dealing with someone of another element and it's important that you, you don't back down. You speak your truth. You stand up for what you believe. And if you're in a situation, wherever it is, if it's work, if it's anything, it is important to you for you to stand up for your truth let me see the other cards so we got Bridget and we got Shalom so this is your ancestor or angel or guide that is with you um, that wants to help you in this process so it says be grace be graceful in movement and action so Shalom is all about being able to take the time that you need to step back, take a look at something, and zone in on your intuition and your feelings about what you're doing. Intuition and feelings about who you're with. But it's also saying, speak about that intuition, right? Open up, the, allow the door to be open by your voice. Standing up for what you truly believe. Now we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is all about a period of resting and relying on what you have. As you see, eight wands are planted in the soil. So that says that you have done the work to get you to whatever point that you're at. But you have the Ninth Wand in your hand meaning that it's time for you to not necessarily take action but it's time for you to be very receptive and start looking at what you have and utilizing what you have to move forward in your path so i think that was really good i usually don't take as um short of a time but this set is all working together um, zoning in on that energy see that's a fire energy she's working with fire so that tells you that maybe you could work with um, some fire elements to set your intentions about something maybe it's something that you want to manifest so you can work with um, fire elements all this is give and take depending on your chart and basically depending on your chart and where you're at with your alignment, that's what is what you need to uh, use to work with. But um, this fire energy that you're up under, you can probably use that for your benefit in the aspect of working your intentions and setting your um, intentions for moving forward in your life and speaking about that, standing up for that. So let's talk about this. I have the Rose Quartz, which is for group two. Rose Quartz is all about that, that love, embracing, and look what we have here. La la la. Let's start with our Goddess card first. Right here. 
the goddess card is start delegating. Ask others, including me, which is Green Tiara, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. So that talks about really with the green is working in your heart's desire um, to start moving forward with what you truly desire in your heart. And I don't know, you guys can't see it, but right now I am working with um, my candle magic, which is green. It deals with the heart. And you want to set in those true desires for what you truly believe in and how you truly feel. Also, um, ask for help. Ask for help. And then in a sense, for something just came over me saying that you're being guided in the process. So whatever you're going through, you're being guided through the process that you're you're taking, uh, the steps you're taking. You're taking the steps. You've actually, for this group, group two, you've already done the work for what you needed to do. But you're being guided. So since you're being guided for the work that you've already been doing, start delegating things to get more weight off of you to move forward to help you uh, to lighten the load a little bit more to ease a little bit more of that road so for two the your angels and your guys um, is the high priestess all the high priestess is literally the energy that is um this is so freaking amazing. Okay, so let's talk about this. I'm sorry to just interrupt. So you think about the high priestess. She has something on her head, basically signifying that she is intuitive and being divine and being guided with the star. So that reminds me of this. Just start delegating because you're being guided. You've, you've already done the work, okay? So the high priestess is... Um, harness mystic power so she talks about your divine power and your divine intuition and following that sticking and staying true to that as you can see she has this black cat which is known as bestest um, bestest is um, the cat the goddess or the daughter of the sun or Ra. Uh, she has basically been given the power over the physical dimension world so this is deep because this talks about that you have harnessed harnessed your power in the physical dimension in the earthly realm but it's important that in order for that to manifest because you've done the work but in order that for that to manifest you need to start delegating and uh, issuing more things to to relieve some burden off of you so you followed your power, you followed your intuition, and that's what's gotten you here this far. And you used Bastet um, for guidance. She is the goddess of power, and she is also a realm of the mother. So maybe your mother or soon to be mother, um, and you're nurturing and you're honoring that power. Or you could be in a marriage as well. Because this is the Six of Wands, I mean Six, uh, six of Swords, sorry. The Swords, um, you have five Swords planted down uh, in a downward motion stating that you've already done the work for whatever you um, needed to do. So you're on your way because you're moving in water, which moder water is free, water is intuition water is guiding and the water is still so maybe you've just came out of a sticky situation and now you're transitioning into something that is moving you um, in a better direction but the water and everything is still it's calm it's a time for you to be receptive as well um, still following that intuition now you see the wand in his hand also, I mean, the, um, not the one that you, well, he's steering it with the stat, but the swords also indicate that it, since it's in front of the family, it's, you're being protected at this point. So that talks just about this, goes in alignment with you as a high priestess. Look, the birds are even confirming it, right? <laughs> 
you're being protected in a sense um, for whatever situation is because you got that stat right here and then you have the six of swords which is in front of the sh like shielding you protecting you guiding you um, and in the distance I just got a moment I just got something came up with me that talks about the stillness of things being still while you're in this situation because you're being guided being still start to delegate And watch things happen yes thank you thank you universe so that one was really really good really good really good really good mm, yes so now my group three last but not least my group three let's see what is in store oh off the bat off the bat off the bat Wow Guinevere, true love, the romantic stirs in your heart have propelled in the universe to deliver great love to you. Hmm. So, much talk about true love in the aspect that you have been wanting a partnership and you want your heart's desires, you want fulfillment, you want joy, you want love, you want peace. But it starts to talk about giving it to yourself. If you see her here, she's wrapped up in love, but she's also adorned herself that with the green emerald on her um, forehead, signifying that her heart is into this. Her heart is into this love. And this is what she's desiring. But it also means that you give that to yourself. Once you start giving that to yourself, it will be reciprocated automatically. Let's move into the guides and the spirit. So the guides and the spirit for now is the spirit file. Trust your instincts or trust your talents in changing time. Sorry, I'm reading it upside down. So trust your talents. I'm going to move it up a little bit so you can see it because I know this is my thing. Trust your talents in changing time. So, ooh, you see how the eyes of the fox is anointed by this symbolic symbol here? The spirit fox is about you losing someone that you loved or that you thought you loved in a relationship. But it's all about giving that space and that time back, love back into yourself so you can receive it. This is a period of, of um, waiting, waiting and working your manifestations. Because as you see here, the fox has feathers, which means wisdom. So that love that you're dying for your true love is only going to begin to manifest within yourself let's talk about the five of cups so the five of cups is really this is initially a card that automatically makes you think like oh i've lost it all right so this might have to do with <laughs> thank you birds or your relationship right and it's letting you know that you have not lost it all. You have not lost it all because behind you, you have two cups, right? So the three cups have spilled over and you are looking down. You're very sad about the situation. Maybe you lost someone that you love or that you thought you loved, which was more so the energy needed to be released. It needed to be cut from you but now you have the spirit fox that is guiding you meaning your talents so it's telling you to focus on the what makes you happy 
focus on what makes you happy, what makes you uh, feel you and feel good, so you can give this to yourself, which is that true love, and then a spirit or a mate will come to you in the time that it needs to come to you. Um, and that also talks about with the greenery, not that that being able to manifest that love as well. So manifesting that love will bring you some luck. But first, this period of time is a, is for you to be still, be receptive. And not only that, is to just think about what is not lost. Because you think that everything is lost in your situation, but it's not all lost. You have two cups here. You have something to hold on to, whether it's memories or whatever it is. Something is telling me that, like, you lost someone that was dear to you however moving forward the two cups is there it's it's behind you so now you have to take what you have and you have to move on but you deserve this you deserve love so you need to give it to yourself you can call on Guinevere to help you with um working that love and working and setting those intentions for love um i would go on with some different workings that you can work on and the spirit fox is really good for that too because that energy if you don't know like foxes run in packs and sometimes they are alone and sometimes they lose their pack and they're alone but in that aloneness, that's when they gain their wisdom. So use this time to gain your wisdom and your truth and your light and give yourself love before your partner comes through the door. Subscribe button for more.